name is Michael. I'm an auditor at M&E LLP, and I'm here today with Aaron, who is the analytics expert at our firm. Uh, today, we're here to discuss the importance of data analytics for external and internal audit, and how we can incorporate analytics into the two different audit areas. So, Aaron, let's start with what is analytics? Analytics is basically our ability to collect and use data to generate historical, real-time, or predictive insights. Because data is everywhere and it's increasing at a really fast speed, we can take those data, analyze meaningful patterns, and use what we have learned to make better decisions. According to KPMG, using data analytics, we find the how and why answers to the initial what questions frequently found in the information initially extracted from the data. Right, that definitely sounds like something that would be helpful in the audit industry as we deal with huge amounts of transactions and information pieces every day. Uh, I guess the next question that comes to mind is, does analytics already exist in the audit industry? And if so, what role does it play? I would say that more and more businesses are realizing the value of insights generated by analytics in general. Large audit firms are investing technologies and resources into analytics because they're involved with more clients and clients are usually much more complex. Due to the large amounts of transactions, efficiency and effectiveness is essentially what the firms are trying to achieve with analytics. For internal audit, many organizations see the benefits of using analytics to achieve continuous auditing or continuous monitoring as a part of their internal control system. However, it's important to point out that analytics is only used by 31% of businesses, even though 75-85% to of businesses believe that it is useful. This indicates that there are a lot of challenges involved with the incorporation of analytics that businesses are looking to overcome. Can you tell me more about how analytics is important to the industry and how it helps with our daily audit work? Well, audit analytics is changing the nature, timing, and extent of traditional audit testing in evaluating financial assertions. So when collecting audit evidence, analytic techniques for substantive testing enables external auditors to test the entire data population in a cost-effective way. And for a combined approach, analytics adds value by providing reliable information regarding key control effectiveness. Alright, so I see how that fits into the two audit approaches. So generally, when we do audits, we plan the scope, do field work, and write reports. How does analytics change this? I would say that analytics would allocate more time to the initial audit planning. It would help auditors to identify high-risk areas that the field work will be based on instead of heading straight to testing trying to hit everything. And what about for internal audits? There are three ways uh, analytics can help with internal audit. Number one, it examines more data within an organization at a lower cost. Number two, with predictive analytics, it generates foresight to prevent internal control issues from occurring in the first place, instead of constantly fixing control weaknesses after issues occur. Number three, it brings data together and establishes correlation, which enables companies to assess risks and determine how well those risks are being managed. Those are some interesting insights. I can also see data analytics reducing the chances of human errors, discovering irregularities due to potential fraud, and using complex and unstructured data to identify emerging risks. On the other hand, what do you think are the challenges of analytics so far? One of the challenges will be turning unstructured data such as emails into meaningful information. However, once this is done, future data will become much more manageable. Access to quality data and the lack of alignment with current auto objectives are also challenges. And to overcome these, auditors should use trustworthy sources and bear the audit intent in mind when collecting data. Another challenge is the training and knowledge of personnel, as the auditors will be engaged in more non-traditional disciplines such as IT. Many companies definitely realize that and are focusing on the skills development of employees. All right, based on my experiences, I also think data security and transparency would also be challenges. Uh, in many cases, companies and external auditors would need to discuss how much data will be shared, and sometimes it will even require engagements with regulators. Auditing firms must ensure that analytics will benefit for both investors and companies themselves. Well, and how do you think we can incorporate analytics into external and internal audit strategies? During the implementation stage, businesses first determine the amount of time and resource they're willing to allocate to audit analytics. 
After the investment decision is made, companies need to train staff so they can effectively use the analytics software invested. The next step is to use the software and human resources to gather and import data into analytics software such as ACL or IDEA. After that, data scrubbing is performed in order to clean data to remove inaccurate or corrupt records. The data will then need to be refined using techniques such as Benford's Law, recalculations, and trend analysis to identify anomalies that are present. External auditors may perform this once per client, where internal auditors may do this on a continuous basis. With the refined data and evidence, external auditors can form an engagement opinion and internal auditors with further data visualization can communicate to the audit committee regarding internal control deficiencies. I recently came across this analytics maturity model applicable to internal audit, and I believe that in a long-term perspective after incorporation, the system should be constantly monitored and improved. Once it is fully integrated into the business, analytic risk models can be incorporated into the business and audit strategies. So I understand that there are both advantages and challenges to this type of strategy. Given all of the things you've presented about audit analytics, what do you believe would be the future state of uh, business analytics in the audit industry? Well, from the internal audit side, we are expecting to see a higher possibility of continuous auditing or monitoring of controls and more evidence-based decision-making. From an external audit side, we will be looking at quality and cheaper audit evidence with a better understanding of our clients' internal controls for enhanced assurance. As an overall conclusion, I believe that audit analytics will help the industry to become a societal function that can be relied upon to a much greater extent than it is now. Large corporate scandals will likely be reduced or even eliminated with the adoption of audit analytics. Hi there, so this interview has been very insightful and I'm sure that the information presented will be useful to many professionals and executives in the audit field. Thank you again for your time. You're welcome. Alright, so I see how that this fits <laughs> oh, Why are you laughing though? It's not even it's not funny though. Your face is funny, that's why. Is my face funny? Uh so thank you again for it. Oh my god! <laughs> your nose. What? Okay, okay, okay.